Hello friends, today we solve another numerical related to how to draw load diagram from shear force diagram. So in our question, data is given, figure shows shear force diagram for a beam. Here we have to draw the load diagram. So for this, you remember some points. Point number one, if there is a straight line in shear force diagram, then there is a possibility of point load or support reaction. Point number two, if there is an inclined line in shear force diagram, then there is always uniformly distributed load. How we calculate UDL? For that, you simply remember that UDL is equal to left side force minus right side force divided by length. While you calculating UDL, always see from left side. For example, left side force that is 30 kN and right side force that is 10 kN. How we calculate UDL? UDL is equal to left side force that is 30 minus right side force. This portion is below this line. So that's why taken negative. So here below this line force is negative. So minus 10. So left side force minus right side force divided by length. So 30 minus minus 10 divided by 4. So 30 plus 10 divided by 4. So 40 by 4 that is 10 kN per meter. We see another example. While there is an inclined line, there is always possibility of UDL. And UDL calculated by equation left side force that is 0 minus right side force that is minus 10. So 0 minus minus 10 divided by length. So divided by 2. So here 0 minus minus plus 10, 10 divided by 2. That's why UDL that's acting on this beam that is 5 kN per meter. We take another example here inclined line. So UDL is left side force that is 100 minus right side force that is 20. Here this portion is above this line. So taken as positive. So 100 minus 20 divided by 4. So 100 minus 20 that is 80. 80 by 4 that is 20 kN per meter. In this way, if there is an inclined line in shear force diagram, then there is always uniformly distributed load. Third point that is support. How we identify there is a support is provided or not. If there is a sudden rise in shear force diagram, then there is always possibility of support reaction. For example, here there is a sudden rise in shear force diagram from 0 to 10. Here sudden rise in shear force diagram from minus 6 to 15. So here how we calculate support that is final minus initial for support reaction or for point load always you remember equation that is final minus initial. So here final load that is 10 initial that is 0. So reaction at A that is 10 minus 0 that is 10 kilo Newton. For example here final condition that is 15 initial condition that is minus 6. So 15 minus minus 6. So 15 plus 6 that is 21 kilo Newton. So in this way you calculate support reaction. Next step that is if you find line like this in shear force diagram that's meaning is between B to C, shear force is constant. That means there is no load between points B and C. And last point, how we calculate point load? Point load calculated by using equation that is final minus initial. Here 20, 20. So here shear force is constant between B to C. At point C, there is a two force 20 and minus 90. So 20 that is initial minus 90 that is final so final minus initial so minus 90 minus initial force that is 20 so minus 90 minus 20 that is minus 110 kilo newton here negative sign shows that this point load acting downward direction so here 110 kilo newton acting downward direction here we take another example you always seen from left side here 10 here 10 so between b2c there is a constant shear force and this portion is below this line that's why taken negative so here at point b minus 10 at point c minus 10 so between b to c there is a constant shear force and if there is a constant shear force then there is no load between points b and c then at point C, you see that minus 10 to minus 30. So final condition that is minus 30. Initial condition that is minus 10. And how we calculate point load? That is final minus initial. So minus 30 minus minus 10. So minus minus plus 10. So minus 30 plus 10 that is minus 20 kN. Again, this minus sign shows that this point load acting in downward direction. So 20 kN. 
now we solve our numericals in our numerical first we identify support here how we identify support if there is a sudden rise in c of force then there is always support reaction so from point a that is zero point and there is a sudden rise in c of force from 0 to 43.75 newton so there is a support at point a so there is a reaction so at point a we provide support so reaction at a between point a and c there is an inclined line so if there is an inclined line there is an udl between a and c again at point c c of force is decreasing from 7.75 newton to 12.25 newton so that's why there is a point load at point c again between point c and d there is an inclined line there is an udl between c and d so here we draw udl between point c and d between d and b there is a constant c of force and if there is a constant c of force there is no load acting between these points so between d to b there is no load again there is a sudden rise in c of force from minus 30.25 newton to zero if there is a sudden rise then there is a support so here we write reaction at b how we calculate support reaction from c of force diagram that is final minus initial so final that is 43.75 minus initial that is zero so 43.75 newton so reaction at a that is 43.75 newton next there is a udl between a to c how we calculate udl that is left side force so 43.75 minus right side force that is minus 7.75 divided by length length between a to c that is 1.8 so divided by 1.8 so here we get 20 newton per meter so udl between a to c that is 20 newton per meter now c of force decreasing from 7.75 newton to 12.25 newton straight line that's why there is a possibility of point load so how we calculate point load that is final minus initial this is the below portion of this line so taken negative this is above portion of this line that's why taken positive so here final condition that is minus 12.25 minus initial initial that is 7.75 so minus 12.25 minus 7.75 we get minus 20 newton here minus sign that's why 20 newton acting downward so at point c there is a point load acting downward and that's value is 20 kilonewton how we calculate final minus initial here final that is minus 12.25 initial that is 7.75 minus 20 newton here minus sign shows that point load acting downward direction so here 20 kilonewton point load acting downward direction between c to d there is an inclined line so between c to d there is an udl how we calculate that is left side force that is minus 12.25 minus right side force that is minus 30.25 divided by length length is given 0 0.9 so here we get 20 newton per meter so between c to d there is an udl of 20 newton per meter between d to b there is a constant c of force so if there is a constant c of force then there is no load between points d and b so between point d and b there is no load here there is a sudden rise in c of force from minus 30.25 newton to 0 newton so there is a support reaction how we calculate support reaction that is final minus initial so final that is 0 minus initial that is minus 30.25 so minus minus plus so plus 30.25 newton so reaction at b we get 30.25 newton so in this way we easily draw load diagram from shear force diagram thank you